It's National Rum Month. What's that mean to you? Use coupon code RUM14 and save 15% on everything at awesomedrinks.com. Get your modelers out. It's time to make a cocktail. Yeah. We're making a cocktail this time. That's your first intro that makes sense. I know. It's only my second intro, so I'm 15%. No, I mean ever. Oh, okay. Oh, you're right. It's true. Uh, yeah, nobody has any flame retardant gummy bears. Nope. Um... Yeah. Is that for me? I just need a little bit of ice, that's all. We're wow. gonna make the Moan Lawn Island iced tea. By, by Harrison. Harrison Ford? I uh, yeah. You wrote it, I don't know. See. Good. Good. So what it has is it has a whole bunch of stuff in it. We got an ounce <laughs> of uh, cucumber gin. We're using Hendrix. We got an ounce of Blanco tequila using Alma. An ounce of fresh cat, cut grass vodka. Vodka, vodka. An ounce of white rum, we're using Captain White. An ounce of triple sec, we got Luxardo Triplum. And three ounce sour mix, which Derek is gonna make. A uh, dash of Coca-Cola and four slices of cucumber, which he's cutting up. You think that's probably enough, right? Those, yeah. What? Did they yeah, because those are thick slices, so we can do that. Oh, yeah. I can thin them out for. No, you. no, no, because we only need we need four. So if you thin them out, then then that I need works. eight. Yeah, I think we're good. So we're gonna muddle the cucumber, add all but the coke, fill with ice, shake and strain. There you go. That's cukes. Oh, sweet. But you're gonna have to. So you're gonna muddle it. But you're gonna shake it and strain it, so you're gonna. Sh- he you says, "Muddle yeah. cucumber, add all but cola, fill with ice." Yeah. So you're gonna muddle that. What am I doing? Sour. I'm making mix? some sour mix. I'm gonna need sour mix twice this week. Should we do the four We're island? Just muddling the cucumbers, not with something. Right. No. Well, I'm just doing what I'm I'm gonna gonna muddle stuff. cucumber, yeah. add yes, all but ice. I, I really don't know. I don't know. But where I'm going. it didn't say to do anything. Is there another Hendrix here? Because this one's. Oh, there's always Hendrix. Yeah. Um. You can always open it too. It It doesn't make sense because I just filled one Hendrix. I figured you probably had one. I had a big ass Hendrix, but that could be the problem. Is this one? Oh, that's probably the one. (laughs) You know, go with a smaller one. (laughs) Do I have (laughs) any one of these? All right. So I'm gonna make my sour mix. If you want to know how. I looked through that cup and the red reflection of Ian's shirt. It looked like it was pink. Why is that gin pink? Because <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh thanks. <laughs> um, there's, I smell fresh now. If you go to the channel main page, there's a little um, what do you call it? Magnifying glass. You click on the magnifying glass. In that magnifying glass, you're gonna type how to make sour mix, and what's gonna return is a result that shows how to make sour mix. You want to do it right now? You, you can explain it as you go too, so you don't right. say it so, quick. <laughs> or, 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 or. Oh, oh, you want me to just be friendly and, and have them save a click? How am I going to make any ad revenue off I, that? I, I thought about that after I said No. Wait, <laughs> save yourself the three pennies I'm going to make from that ad All right. uh, if you don't click skip. So here's the deal. I'm going to do, and this is how I typically make it. Everybody can do it differently, but people like to know how I do it, especially if they want to reproduce the recipe I'm making. Uh, typically what I do is two ounces of simple syrup and one ounce lime, one ounce lemon. So it's kind of like a half and half. Um, the simple syrup trick comes down to how do you make simple syrup? You boil water. I usually do a one ratio to one ratio water and sugar, so you end up with a standard simple syrup. You can, however, change it up and do a rich simple syrup, which is going to give you a slightly sweeter sour mix, which is going to be closer to what I'm making now because I ran out of sour mix. No, I ran out of simple syrup, and I pulled this out a couple weeks ago from uh, the store. And this is the stirring simple syrup that we sell. This is a two to one, so this is a rich simple syrup. It's gonna be s- slightly sweeter. So I'm just gonna do I two. Know this is I need some more stuff. I gotta loosen some cucumbers up. Mix them up. So there you go, sour mix. And if it doesn't meet your needs, add whatever ingredient you need more of. You can also just use all limes or all lemons. I like to blend them together because it's more standard to what I think most bartenders would create for sour mix. This is not going to be nearly as good because nearly as easy to shake because it's not cold enough. This is actually pretty cold. Why is this cold? Is there ice in there? No. The it lemons and limes were from the refrigerator though. Yes, they were. Good call. But it's, I mean, it's even... When you're done, I need three ounces. This? Yeah. I don't think I made enough for both cocktails now that I think about it. So! We're going we're gonna to see this given a future cocktail. <laughs> yes. Oh, you need... Normally I would also strain it, double strain it. You need three ounces? Yeah. So there's two. two. Hold on a minute. Do, 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 do. All right. It's pretty clean. And then a one. Boom. Do, 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 do. 
Gotcha, bad. That sounds like a choo choo train. Choo choo! Um, so, I guess we have to do this again. You like making sour mix, though, so. Yeah. Choo choo! That's your tragic backstory. What? That's your tragic backstory? That's your tragic backstory? You got a straightener? Yeah, it's right there next to you. That's your. I can't remember how that goes. You want to put some ice in there? I can. That's your tragic Mac story. You know, I'm going to move this out of the way so we can see the video. You could do that too. You can, you know, be all like user friendly Camera and stuff. Camera friendly, yeah. Boom. Oh, now we're going to, because it's muddled and there's a lot of ingredients, we're using a big ass highball glass. The ones I sell don't have my old logo. That's actually two, two, a two revision old logo, if that makes sense. Also, we have one of these left in stock that you won't mm -hmm. see again, which is the uh, old logo on the mixing glasses. I'm Whoa, it looks like lemonade. I like the look of this. If you're looking for the new logo on the mixing glasses, once I sell my last one of these, I'll change them up with the new logo. Because I just got those in. Fill with ice, shake and strain. All the cola. <laughs> I'm guessing we're topping with this Water. since it's in the ingredients and we do everything but this. Is yeah. that correct? What are you talking about? Topping with this? Yeah, that's, that's just a typical iced tea deal. The, the the key component in my belief for this drink is going to be the fresh cut grass vodka from Odka. I think so, yeah. Uh, because we did a golf cocktail. It was actually one of the winners. Hmm. We used it was tasty the Odka. Too. Yep. Yeah. And whoa, whoa, holy. I'm losing a lot of my juice. Lemon juice. I mean juice. I just whoa. That's weird. You almost got your camera. Ah. I'm doing that on purpose. Oh, that See, awesome. that's what you get. Karma. Huge mess. Bites like a bitch. That's right. Word. Do you want to try this drink? I do. I was just, you know, making it. Right. Well, I'm going to try it first. It's you can do good. that. All right. I'm just making this for another oh, cocktail. Oh, yeah, I can smell the tequila, actually. Really? Maybe the cucumber. Right? I would hope the cucumbers come through, but at the same time, it's not. I still think the fresh cut grass is going to be where it's at. This is for. This is really good. This is your lawn mowing style drink. Yeah, because so many people drink cocktails. Maybe I should have double strained this with the cucumber muddling. Why? Because there's cucumber seeds in there. But cucumber okay. seeds make, that's what makes the drink. Texture. Okay, mm -hmm. if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> cucumber seeds make this drink. It's pretty Whoa. good, huh? That's got a wild amount of flavor for what it is. Doesn't it? It looks like it's going to just be a sour but uh, it's lemonade. It's kind of sweet. That's what you're saying about the floaties, but I don't think that's really a bad thing. That's really good. Um, that's like a margarita minus the margarita. There's a, the, what? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. You know what I'm thinking right now? When you're going to muddle cucumbers, slice them up thin. I had a hard time getting through those cucumbers. Okay. So good and you're good a call. beast. And I'm a beast. So and I used a beast of a muddler. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... so or, or you use a masticizing muddler. Something that's not got a flat bottom on it. Something with some... Flat bottom. Some teeth to girls. it. Masticating? Masticizing? No, masticizing is breast cancer. <laughs> <laughs> don't use that guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, they made those mudlers. Um, patent. <laughs> I got it. Nobody do that. <laughs> he has a patent, so nobody I gotta tell can people do not it. to do it. Because <laughs> yeah. people are thinking this is a great idea right this is, now. This is a, a patent of... Dude, wouldn't that be cool if people patent things just so no one else can do it? Yeah. I patent the um, cloning of humans. Just so you, you can't ever do it. It's probably already patented, though. You think? I patent God. No one else can believe. That's, that dude, that would be awesome. That's watch no content. I, 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 no I had a religious battle with somebody this week. Every this now and then, tasty. people send me those. Do, like, do you think Jen will like this? I'm, I'm, no. Okay. No. I, don't, I don't quite have Jen's taste. Oh, um, that's because they're it's, my taste buds. I know. No, I don't I don't he, he knows. He's no, like, God, oh, she won't like this. I, like you this. know what? Now that you say that, this is a cucumber margarita. Yeah. Right. It's it's got it. It's got the, the sour fresh of a margarita. Cut grass doesn't really come up no, in your no. face like you think it's, it would. It's hidden in the background. What the fresh cut grass is doing in this cocktail is it's giving a vegetal taste to the actual vegetable. Yeah. Like it's taking the mm. the cucumber flavor and making it greener. Like it. Yeah. It's, it's almost as if it's that was a. It's crisp and like. Yeah. It's yeah. it's it's almost as if there's an herbal cucumber liqueur thing that doesn't exist. I don't think that this is kind like, of building. Like the Hendrix Gin with yeah. the herbals and the yeah, cucumber. Yeah, but yeah, if it had more. More herbal. grass, yeah. like more green, vegetal, maybe like a plant. Uh, what do you call it? Like a rum from um, uh, the vo, the vo rum, blah blah, whatever the rums are. Oh, agricole, which oh, has okay. more of a green yeah. flavor to it. But it still wouldn't be as much as that. That is 
That is like... That's really good. Not oh. like our golf cocktail, which definitely had the mown grass flavor. This, the, the grass flavor that comes through is literally 30, 45 seconds after in the finish, yeah. you get a little bit of like, is somebody mowing the grass outside? A little right bit, now? yeah. And you, and you know what? Be careful with this. There's, it's like a Long Island iced tea. There's five ounces of booze. Oh, there five. Is. is that why I'm drunk right now? Yeah, maybe. So there's <laughs> an, an ounce of gin, ounce of tequila, ounce of vodka, ounce yeah. of rum, ounce of triple sec. It's it is very. It is. I. The closest comparison is if you've made a common man margarita sans the agave, replace it with the vegetal cucumber. Boom. That's your flavor. You could even, if you're into the salt, you could salt the rim, which I think is just a travesty. Yeah. You uh, could. But I, guess you I would know. lightly salt if you're going to salt that because you don't want to kill the. I, I think it kills it. You know what? I don't get There's no soda at all. I mean, that's just a color thing. No. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, uh, we could probably even color a little more. Yeah. I mean, it, the, the soda, even on a Long Island iced tea, is to bring the tea color to it. It's not, maybe add a little sweetness to it, but it's not. See, it even darkened a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so it's more tea-ish. You can, if you want it to look more like tea, now it looks like somebody who went way aggressive on the um, Arnold Palmer. I think it's all yeah, lemonade. Well, I mean, it changes the taste a little bit, too. Really? Just a little. It, I think it it cancels out some of the flavors. So I, I get I, a little bit more cucumber now. Do you? Usually that or I sucked in a seed. Maybe you did. Uh, I like it, although it is yeah. definitely one of those drinks I wouldn't just sit down and drink 20 of. Well, it's you got can't. a lot. You, you of probably die. <laughs> That's a hundred, hundred ounces of alcohol. <laughs> what? What? Just saying. I can do that right now. Let's lay it down. All right. What do we got? Coming Balls up. on the floor. So Wait. start with this. Oh, you're, you're... Let me get a couple more bottles. <laughs> and let's see you do it. <laughs> you're gonna need, we'll start with. That's right. You're gonna need a Since few you're... bottles of all, Ma. Uh, <laughs> let's just. Yeah, that's probably that's probably true. It's not gonna happen. Yeah. Uh, like my size. So that's part. a good cucumber thickness. I you think, might, I think you need more though if you do that. Because mine were like mine were like five times that size. <laughs> That's not really a trick. It's not like you tied it in a knot with your tongue. Um, which would be very weird. I just <laughs> <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? Like a CD player on some other CD. Like just burnt. Pops out. Cucumber disc player. Yeah. Uh, so, question of the day. Yeah. Uh, what do we got? I, I'd like to know what people pair up against gin. Like, the cucumber seems to be like the go to. It's really trendy, yeah. Cucumber, cucumber gin. Cucumber gin. Well cucumber gin. Gotta be Hendrix, you know, because Elderflower goes well with gin. That's yeah. Cucumber, elderflower. Elderflowers. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of one of the things I was trying to avoid, which would be in tomorrow's cocktail, was a tea based cocktail. Gin was like, because I wanted the clear. Yeah. But at the same time, I was like, tea, gin, I think Herbal. people would do that. Yeah. And I wanted to avoid that, so I went with rum instead. But oh, they do tea and crown. We really? did that tea and crown uh, yeah. tasting it. That's true. That was actually really good. It was really good. Yeah. But, um, I had so, cinnamon sticks all day. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I forgot about that. They, he oh, sucked yeah, on. He, he oh, we had a cocktail that had cinnamon stick. Yeah, was it so a it was like, it was, yeah, it was crown. And tea, right? With oh, the cinnamon right. stick in it, right? And it was from the Crown Royal, folks. Yeah, and yeah, he sucked on the cinnamon stick all day. Yeah. It fell. He picked it up, and put it back in his mouth. Five second rule, apparently. <laughs> Five second rule, obviously. On. <laughs> Nothing like licking something that can pick stuff up, letting it hit the ground, and picking it up for the extra juices, and and, and whatnot. It was good. Uh, but was, he did drop it in the dive bar and finally throw it away. Yeah, he only he only dropped it in the dive bar and decided to throw it away because he was caught. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, guarantee you would have put No one saw me, it would still be in my mouth right now. Yeah. <laughs> had I not chewed it all yeah. the bits. Yeah. So, what you could pair cinnamon yeah, against crown. Your question of the day, too. If you have an oral fascination, what kind of stuff do you put in your mouth? <laughs> uh, we don't want to know all right, that. Okay, maybe, maybe that's it. You know, and I was thinking, like, I like, I like a cinnamon stick. I'll, I'll, I'll chew on a cinnamon stick instead of it, or a toothpick, toothpick or something. I was going to go yeah. with a toothpick. Weed? Not like like no. just weed, like the ones you pick out of the ground. No. They were just chewing. Oh, hay. Yeah, grass. I've done hay. Hay? Like, no, like grass, weeds. Yeah, yeah. great, great. Hat. You bite, you rip the root off. And hay grass, yeah. Is that called hay grass? I thought I've it was just it with... grass that's been overgrown. Oh, well, maybe you can do it. With grass. I've, I've done I it with guess hay. overgrown grass is, is in hay. and hay. Yeah. So there's that. Uh, <laughs> so what do you pair? Yeah. Is It could be fresh cut grass. Uh, Oddka could be electricity. Oddka, which I don't have. I don't remember what flavor that's supposed to be, but... Um, is it is it citrus? You know what? Do you get crazy with your gin? What what do you pair that's just crazy? Cinnamon sticks. That's a good question. Egg white. <laughs> <laughs> gin fizz. G gin fizz. Rainbow's gin fizz. Yeah, again, too easy. Make it harder. Yeah. Find some real good trick. Do it with carrots. What? Carrots. 
I pair my gin and carrots. Make a gin and carrot tonic. That's hard to say. With carrot juice. Yeah, gin and carrot cocktail. Yeah, that'd be cool. I, Make it I, taste like carrot bread. Oh. I wonder if there's many cocktails out there that use <laughs> carrot juice. No! No! And no! I, it is good for your skin! I could see that being a very versatile ingredient. I know! What's I up with know. that? What's up with that? You know yeah, what? The, the, um, <laughs> the detox bar at Tails, they had something with oh, carrot they did. juice in it. Yeah, the Bacardi and uh, oh, that's juice. that's right. And it, was it was basically Bacardi with whatever juice you were making. Yeah, they used a blender and they blended up carrot juice and other things, mainly carrot juice, I think. Yeah. And they had a watermelon one and they had a green one also. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And that was for morning time after you've been drinking the day before. Yeah. It was detox. So you could either go get Drambu in coffee, you could get a detox Bacardi thing, or you could get a Bloody Mary. See? Oh, this, this is a why, pineapple combination. This is why you go to Tales of the Cocktail. Pineapple? What, Gin pineapple? And pineapple yeah. Gin and pineapple. That's crazy. I can see that being done, like, right now, apparently. Uh, anyway, you can go check out everydaydrinkers.com. You can also, if you, 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 people don't know these exist, but this is what we like to call the uh, cocktail decanter, because it's typically used for cocktails here. Yeah. You can use them for cream and You can sugar. use them for your mixers. No. Cream, yeah. I use them for mixers. You can you use them for cream for your coffee. Put them out for br like brunch, brunch or whatever, or whatever you're trying to be fancy. Yeah. I mean, it is more fancy than just throwing out like a big thing of hood or yeah, whatever your local container of amaretto or whatever yeah. you got. So you definitely want to get those. And again, yeah. this is a CMC mixing glass. We have one of these left in stock. It'll probably be gone by the time this video airs. And Where then are they? Awesome looking... They are. Okay. And they'll have the new CMC logo, which you probably see. Let me, let me see. In the top corner here for YouTube. Oh, look it, at you. You're market. setting yourself up. Uh, it's always there. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> I think it real free. Your cheater tins. This is how he was making his sour mix in a yeah. smaller container. That's because how Kurt shakes. That's yeah, Kurt's Kurt thing. Kurt he, 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 you know when we were talking earlier about like you like to have smaller things to make yours look bigger? I think that's why Kurt uses this one. Because he wants to make his hands look bigger? Yeah. He wants to make his head look bigger. You know what they bigger. say about big hands? Do you, you want to make his head look big bigger because he shakes up here? Yeah. Because <laughs> his head is big. You need big loaves. Right. <laughs> you know what they say about big feet? Big shoes. Anyway! We're on the same page. We're done. Ready? Ready. We're the Chadron. <laughs>